Welcome to Friday Free Talk. Today we bring you brains, beauty and brilliance. <laughs> but that's enough about me. We also have Yvette Kong with me here. Hi Yvette. Hello, Nuru. You know, the theme of our Friday projects generally are debunking things gently. Uh, so uh, let's focus on things we think we know. Today's theme is going to be hotels. I mean, hotel general managers must be having like the worst years ever because uh, we had the unrest in 2019, we had COVID, I and mean, they must be just about to jump off their penthouse balconies, right? I mean, you're not wrong that when we look at the statistics, um, you see a huge cliff um, during that time, the protests and then the, the COVID. And, um, but surprisingly, when I look at the occupancy rate for last year, it's at 71% occupancy rate. And you know, it's still a 24 drop from 95%. That's before all these happened. The series of unfortunate events. Right. Um, but considering all that's been happening, that's been very impressive. And I have to say, like, hotels GMs are pretty resourceful. Like, there's, well, of course, there's mandatory quarantine that's been going on. Some of them are in these luxury hotels. <laughs> But also, Ooh. I think the bigger contributor <laughs> is uh, staycations. Have you done a staycation? I have. I think I've done a couple of times in the past year. Really? Yes, oh, nice. because, you know, a lot of people have been in Hong Kong for about two years now without going anywhere. And, uh, you know, first year was all right, being at home and, you know. But then after a year, you start getting a little bit, you start to fidget a little bit and <laughs> Uh, you start to look for new environments. And that's when I started, you know, maybe going for a little retreat, uh, like a staycation somewhere. So I actually went to um, Ocean Park Marriott. Oh, very and nice. And it was very nice. <coughs> but the park was closed. Oh, no. So, you know, the big kid and me was like, oh. Um, but, you know, just being in the area is nice. And uh, I, I remember, you know, taking the mini bus down to Stanley and going for a little hike, and it was refreshing. So you pretended you were far, far away. So far away. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did go on a staycation myself, but uh, I have to admit, I find it hard to enjoy it because um, uh, I don't know if this is sexist to say this, but while, while the wife and kids were enjoying the hotel, I was thinking, we're paying for hotel beds and we're paying for meals and, you know, we just live over there. I got over it because I actually had a very nice pool where I was staying, so I could forget that. What's important is that you had a good time. <laughs> right. They are also allowing pets to stay. Yeah, there's lots of hotels now that allow you to bring your cat or your dog into the hotel. It's another way that hotels have been resourceful in actually trying to get people in. I do think, um, you know, sometimes switching up your environment is quite nice for the mind. Um, after all, you know, we've been here cooped up in Hong Kong for, for two years. And, you know, there's no complaint because I do think Hong Kong is quite wonderful to be, to be stuck in. You know, having a different set of experiences and, and just being nice to yourself. <laughs> We're all, you know, in, this, in these two years, you know, so much has happened. And, and I think it's so important to be nice mm -hmm. to yourselves and, and to others. What a nice way to end. So be nice to yourself, be nice to others, and best of all, be nice to your local hotel manager. Mm -hmm.